don't know why. I look like Charlie in an original Willy Wonka movie. So I'm on my face with chocolate. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a thrift haul. I know we're supposed to be doing like social distancing or whatever, but that's not in my nature. Like whatsoever. Therefore, I got around to the thrift shopping and um, I'm so excited to show you guys what's in this haul before we can get on into this video don't forget to subscribe ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and be a part of the familia if you want to support my channel go down in the description box to the link it will send you to my campaign to where you can donate any amount to my account so I can go back into making the most creative content for this video and all proceeds go back to this channel nothing goes to me per se so, if you want to support, go down below. And a real quick announce announce announcements. We hit 5,000 views as of March 20th, so about three days ago. Officially hit 5,000 views. So, you don't always have to have like a certificate or anything that says, hey, I've done this. You can know it in your heart, and I do. This just helps me kind of push to you know continue doing these videos for you you guys before i uh burped how don't lady like me the iq sends me these certificates i started just randomly sending them in which you know i checked them out i was like oh who are these people sending me these certificates pretty much on the uh account or whatever you can make an account with them as to where you could retrieve certificates if they don't randomly send them to you and all that IQ is an extension that goes to your YouTube where they do not alter, they do not add, or do anything to your account. They just provide extra statistics that will help gear you towards what's trending and try to push for you to be on the recommended or suggestion pages. So um, I added the extension. I love it. And uh, But they've been sending me the certificate that you can retrieve yours if you just go on their website or their YouTube page and they'll explain everything but I just wanted to say thank you guys for giving me this opportunity and um just everything you know just everything I just want to thank you for everything 5,000 views is not easy especially for small YouTubers there's so many people who are YouTubing around the world and so something as small as this needs to be celebrated and since that is it for all the announcements let's get on into this video just to let you guys know that all of these outfits are not from the thrift store i did get a lot of them from my boyfriend's mother who was so graciously you know thinking about me and was like hey you want to go through some clothes you know i know you transform stuff so she was giving me some of these outfits as she's gone through them herself. A lot of the items are vintage items, items that her sister, I believe if I remember correctly, had collected over a span of, I want to say 50 years. Um, so I was like, hey, you know, I love vintage items and uh, like transforming stuff. That's pretty much the gist of my channel. So. The thrift store items, there wasn't really that much, so I combined both to kind of make this video more lengthy and uh, to give you guys some content because who doesn't love content? I'm so excited for this. Okay. Oh, I think we should make a game out of this. Okay, so I'm going to have a blindfold. I'm going to guess which one I think it is and then I'm going to open my eyes. If I get at least half of these clothing items correct, you guys got to give me a thumbs up and if not, um... Still give me a thumbs up. So I thought I had a sleeping mask, but apparently I don't. So I have this bow headband, it's gonna have to work. All right, headband on. By the way guys, I'm gonna guess by the material. Okay, I can't see absolutely anything like, where's it? Okay, there's the camera. So I'm gonna be looking right here. Are we ready? Three, two, one. Oh, there's two t-shirts that are alike. I know that for a fact. 
and they're alike by the material, but in the middle, on the pink one, they take a scrunchy thing, that's all, when I grabbed it, this one doesn't have it. I think the sleeves on this one shorter. So it's that white button up one. Oh, I can't. Uh. Oh, this is a terrible idea. I can't see a thing. It's like everything's so foggy, like my eyes are getting adjusted here for some odd reason. My eyes are kind of readjusted. But I am correct. Hey. So there is this button up top from Marshall's. It kind of reminds me of that blouse. Like it's great. It's a all white one. Um, the plan is to make a peasant top out of this one. Um, and same with the other one, which hopefully will be shown soon enough. What I really liked about this top is the fact that it had this scrunchy area like under the bra section. Like, I'm not sure if you guys can really see it because the lights are pretty bright, but that is hopefully going to help me make this peasant top just that much cuter. Overall though, the top isn't bad looking, but we can do something with this. Let's see if I can find another headband, cause this one, mm -mm, mm -mm. All right, so I'm ready for the next top on goes the headband. I gotta, oop, okay, there you go. So that would be right here. Okay, three, two, one. Ooh, this one, oh, this one has an interesting feel. It felt kind of fuzzy. This material is thin. Oh, it has the tassels. Okay. This one, I know, is the green slime pattern. Little wrap? I don't know what it is. It's like this, this huge material. That's <gasps> great! So, I know some of y'all probably are looking at this like, what in the hell are you about to do with that? But since it's so much material, I want to make like a two-piece out of it. So, you know. And honestly, I looked at this and I was like, you know, at first. And then when I looked at it again, I really liked the lime green factor. And I was thinking, you know, those rave outfits, summer lime green, the bright neon, you know, colors. Uh, I just thought I can make a two-piece like spring and summer, bring the brightness and you know just extra whatever to this. And I have shoes and stuff that match, so you know I was like instantly I can do something with this. If this material was just plain, I wouldn't have even done anything to it. I would just made it into like a cute little skirt wrap thing for like my swimsuit or such. But it is crazy in design and colors, so. And I'm gonna make some bomb ass outfits with this one. Okay. On goes the blind. I think I have like four, or no, not four, um, nine to ten like pieces of clothing. So approximately I have to get five correct in order for y'all to like this video. Sure, you be doing it anyways. Like, I mean, who doesn't like me? I got those five though. I am just going to be doing like a regular haul because this blindfold thing is not happening. I like I have to readjust every time I take them off and I honestly don't even know. Nope, there you are. I didn't even know where you guys are. Like it's just a little bit more difficult. It is kind of fun though. But you know, I feel like I look so stupid right now. Alright, for the next article of clothing. I did her kind of the first one. It's kind of heavy though. Oh, well, ooh, does it have the bell? These are those Hawaiian printed pants that has the flower, the red in the background. I'm pretty sure of it because it has its tie, and the other pair of pants that is in this pile has a belt. Eee! 
damn i'm just good at this so i wanted to make these into shorts but then here's the issue is like even though i can i don't fit them properly like i like the kind of more so baggy hawaiian shorts you know with the cute little like crop top or something and so uh yeah but i'm still gonna make these into shorts and when i do i may sell them so down in the description box below in an upcoming video i will let you guys know when i'm going to be like opening like an etsy shop or like a poshmark shop to where you guys can buy some of the clothes i make that i just want to sell all right so we get two more and so everybody has to give me a thumbs up on this video Alright, blindfold on. Alright, so. Oh, I almost fell over. Oh. Oh. Okay. I already, I feel automatically know what this is because of the padding in the shoulders. It's going to be the black blazer. <gasps> so. If anybody knows anything about blazers, they're freaking expensive a lot of times. So when I saw this blazer, I was like, honey snatch. The main thing that I would just change about this blazer is the collar because the collar is this like spiky, you know, it just looks too older woman, you know, sophisticated type look like I got a job, which I don't. So while I'm still young and jobless, I want to look cute and so therefore I am going to figure out how I'm going to round this out to make it look more vintage 80 blazer. But this was like a, one of the biggest steals that I found in this whole collection by George Church, a really good brand in my size surprisingly so it's a win win win. I have like one more piece of clothing. Yes, one more piece of clothing. So you guys, my foot hurts. But one more piece of clothing until you guys give me a light. Blindfold on. All right. Let me see where you guys are. Okay. I'm be looking right here somewhere. Okay, three, two, one. Now, I think I know which one this is, but for some reason, I'm feeling, is this a zipper? Is it zipped up all the way? I don't know, it feels like it's not. Okay, it is the, it's like a skirt, but it's not what I thought it was initially when I was given this. But it's like a skirt and it has these crossing tie pieces, like right here, I want to say. And um, I want to say this is from Fashion Nova. Yup, I knew this had a zip because I was thinking, why is it all weirdly shaped in the back? But for some reason, it wasn't that zip enough with me having blindfolds on. So if this is a skirt, I was wanting to make it into a crop or something of that sort because I do think it is really cute, but um, it wasn't really like supposed to be in the pile, but it kind of is now, um, but I still may consider making it into a very cute so, who knows? Let me make sure this is from Fashion Nova. I don't know where it's from. It doesn't have Fashion Nova's logo or anything on it. But my sister gave it to me, so, you know. <laughs> Alright, that's at least the first five pieces of clothing. So you guys go ahead, stop this video, give me a big fat thumbs up, and then we can continue. I'm waiting. <laughs> First, let's take this ridiculous headband off. My head feels so relieved. Okay, so I just wanted to start off with this one because this was 
the very, very bright pink one that I was talking about has the stretchy, like, elastic middle piece. And so, I'm not sure if you guys remember, like, way back when, and which if you don't, in one of the cards or at the end of this video, there will be, like, a 10-year challenge where I transform a bunch of clothes from about 10 years ago, if not longer. Um, that I used to wear, I recreated my whole sixth grade outfit and then I transformed those clothes into something that I would wear today. But the red top that was in that video kind of reminds me of this one as of like the stretchy middle and then the flowy bottom. So I picked it up. The thing that pieces that I like about the front is not only the stretchy piece but it creates that kind of like same thing with the white one, it creates that scrunchy look right here. Um, also, I like the sleeves, how it has that scrunchy look as well. So, maybe I'll do some other different form of a peasant top with this. I like the color, I just thought overall this top, like as is, I don't see where I would have worn this around. But I saw a vision as to how I can transform it into something I can wear. is this polo top that I got for two dollars the greatest thing about this polo top is that it is pretty long I want to make like a two-piece like shorts and you know crop top set but the thing is since my bottom is humongous I am unable to do a two-piece out of just like one plain t-shirt I would have to go up like maybe you know this is a size small you know medium in men's I would have to go up to like probably a 3x for my bottom because it takes a lot of material to make my shorts but I like the little polo crop top so I was like you know I'm gonna take this transform it I'm gonna try to make some shorts out of it um, but if I can't, I'm not like crying. I'll just find like another shirt that has relatively the same color that I can make shorts out of. But I thought this was like a really good find. It was like two dollars. Two dollars. Like if you need to pull it up, go to the thrift store. The fight um, that I'm having with myself right now, like I'm having a mental battle because I want to show you guys the dress that I got out of my boyfriend's mother's pile but then I also got these pair of pants at the thrift store and they were both like probably the biggest still out of this whole thrift store find I just these two are gonna be the ones that like on my daily walk of life I'm gonna wear these like the most but I grabbed the pants first so I'm gonna show you the pants first um, so I wanted some kind of like work pants and these have like that fit and then they go down all really nice at the ankles. I still do need a little bit more tapering so I may taper them um, to be kind of like the skinny ankle length jeans that I just freaking love. Like I love ankle length jeans, I'm sorry. But not only the pattern of the pants, the style of the pants that I just absolutely loved, but it came with this cute belt. Like, look how pretty it is. It's like pearls or something, and it just looks so lovely. And then the belt's made out of the velvet material. <gasps> Once again, y'all, I don't remember the price. I think it was like five dollars for the pants, and then they had it for half price, so it's like two fifty for the pants. <laughs> like. So for my birthday, I wore this dress that I picked out of my boyfriend's mother's pile. It is so beautiful. It has this really unique mock neck design right here where it kind of goes down and then back up. I am a freaking lover of mock neck and especially mock neck dresses. Um, like this when I saw it I went like so quick it's a velvety material um 
which is amazing. I love that. It had slits on the side. I love that. It goes down like mid calf. You know, it's kind of like, you know, a midi dress just with slits on the side. I love that. I wore this like with my ankle boots and a cute pair of Van Gogh earrings. And I look like a cute little art student like. Before my birthday, it was just amazing. Like, it did fit perfectly. This is size medium. It's probably like 90s. So, I did not touch it. I did not do any altering to this. I feel like this is perfect as is. So, thank you, Madre, for this dress. If you guys like this video, please give it a big fat thumbs up. I held up my end of the bargain by looking stupid wearing a blindfold while guessing at clothes. So please hold up your end of the bargain by giving this video a like. I also meant to discuss the name of the dress form as of who won. Let me pull up the names for you guys. And I wanted to thank you guys for at least submitting your names. So, from Nicole Silver, she says, Sasha, from C. Jackson, it says, I would say Puka, but maybe Shanene. <laughs> from Dtrue25, Black Betty, I actually really love them all, so maybe I'll use them interchangeably. So, I gave you all a shout out, and I want to thank you guys for um, submitting a name. And, as always, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bruh. <laughs>